Hey guys, Spartan X Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of three things. First of all, my spaceship. Oh well, yeah, and I do do I do want to add the fact that I now have a turn style or a turn table thing, whatever you want to call it. I have one, and two figures in the background which you cannot see for the moment. They will be a surprise. Okay, so first of all, this ship was made for my character. Now this character, as you can see, seated. Is my own custom pilot. So let me just zoom in on him and then you can see him. Okay, now I've quickly just removed the figures from the background and oh, and I'm just going to show you the character that I've made. Okay, so as you can see on the front, he has a little canister here, probably to hold ammo or something. Uh, he's got his face mask, a little emblem there. And if you see, this tube goes round and round up the back to an air canister so that he can breathe the helmet is just a normal red helmet uh, this body armor except from the hands comes from I'm pretty sure it's the stormtrooper battle pack um, and then the hands are just plain white hands the face is a clone face and this was a Jedi cape but I cut it up so that it looks like a bit kind of roguish so yeah and that is the figure that goes in it. I'll just give it a quick 360. So yeah, there's the character, and I'll just get onto the ship. Okay, so the ship. This was originally made uh, to be a futuristic ship. Oh, sorry that that light was flashing. I haven't. It's kind of a bit... Uh, it's running out of batteries. And the fact that the stand is falling down. This really isn't helping. Yeah. Let me just get this sorted out and I'll be back. Okay, uh, the lighting has changed basically because I'm just trying out new ways of lighting. Because I have moved where I've been filming uh, to a different area. So there are going to be awkward shadows and it's just kind of sorting out where I want to film. So anyway, uh, the ship was originally attended to be a modern ship but I then changed it to be more futuristic so here we can see that we have two um not engines uh exhaust that's what i was thinking of with two uh lights there it's very pointy at the sides and the wings are also pointy i wasn't i didn't really or i couldn't really find a way to um link these together to make them look smoother or to have a smoother transition, but that didn't work. You'll have to forgive that there's a knife there and the gun isn't. So give me a second. There we go. So the gun's on there now. Um, it has a gun and a knife. Um, so basically, if he was to crash, he would have the right stuff. Um, yeah, he's got the small TIE fighter windshield there. I, w I really do need to find a whole windshield. But there is this cavity in the back, and I wasn't sure why i'd have that again sorry for anything that goes wrong in this video it's just it's new and i'm trying to sort it out and as you can see there we have a control panel and it's just a pretty good ship all right so i'll just give you a quick 360 and then i'll go on to the figures that well i won't show you until later or well i will now all right there we go see you in a minute Okay, so I think I've sorted out my lighting issue. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, the two figures I'm going to show you, they are Series 16 minifigures. Now, this isn't an unpackaging as such, but I just kind of wanted to open them. All right, so number one that I had was the Rogue. Again, sorry, change the lighting. There we go. Wasn't really working. I do need to get some better lighting in here, but hopefully for Christmas, fingers crossed, I'll get some better lighting equipment. Uh, I was originally using a light and then I covered it in paper to make the uh, light beam not so concentrated. But anyway, here we go with our first figure, the Rogue. So let's just do a quick 360. Oh boy, the quality. So yeah, I am hoping to get some better quality stuff. And hopefully stop filming in the day because as it's winter, it's starting to get late earlier. Which means I'm having to use my bedroom light, which is not good for filming. So anyway, this uh, figure is the Rogue. Now, I've been wanting this figure for ages and ages and ages. 
But now I finally have him. All right, so let's just do, let's just take off his hood and show you the face. Now this face is not really what people are expecting. Uh, there is no double face, quick 360, um, but he does have a face. It's kind of a smirkish kind of look, um, but as you put it on, he looks pretty angry, or at least he does in better quality. Okay, so he's got his standard Lego bow and a standard Lego quiver. Now, on his hand, we have a glove there, uh, just to stop his hand from uh, wearing out after pulling the bow back so many times. Although, this hand is doesn't wear a glove, because it's fine. Now, uh, as you can see on here, it is just a completely green arm, but you might be able to see it, but there is kind of a, a band or a sash going along, and it's then printed on that arm. Um... These these legs are double printed, and I'm really starting to like the new double printed Lego legs. Um, so yeah, that's the rogue figure. So I'll just give you a quick 360 of that. And then let's go on to my next figure. Yes, we have it, the hiker, finally. Although I didn't exactly get this. My friend had a double without a compass and gave this to me. So just a quick shout out to you, which is Archie. He is my best friend in the whole entire world. And I have absolutely no idea what I'd do without him. So it's a shout out to him. He's given me a lot of Lego over the years. I've given him a lot of Lego. I've done some trades. So yeah, I think it's time you actually got a shout out. So there we go, Archie. Shout out for you. But um, anyway, he has given me this hiker. Now, as you can see, he's holding a map with the Greeble Trail. Now, the Greeble Trail is a reference to an old Lego franchise. I don't know if it's a franchise or not, but, um, not Archie, but another friend of mine told me that it was a reference, so, well, I went along with it. Now, as you can see, he's wearing a green kind of jumper with the hiking bag straps going over, but, um, on the jumper, you also have a blue and silver area right there. And then down there, you can see that we've got the double printed legs with some pockets on it. The hand on the other one has no gloves. It is just a normal Lego hand. And let's go into the back first. As we can see, we have a hiker's back. Now, this is not two moulds. This is one. Um, you don't put it together. There are two colour moulds, but only one kind of real mould as such. Now, this face is really nice and happy. But give me a second and I'll just turn it around. Alright, so I'm loving this face. Now this face is for when he's not so happy and he hasn't really found his way. He's lost. Yep, he has a lost face. Uh, now this is a double-sided face. Normally I'm not too keen on double-sided faces. But I'll admit, this one's really quite rubbing off on me. I do like it. We've got his nice little lost face. And that's pretty much it for the special features. But he's got uh, the spiky up hair in a nice, uh, kind of light brownish. Yeah, kind of a light brown. Um, so we'll just give him a 360. Oh, on the back, under the rucksack, there is no printing. So there we go. Now that's it for my YouTube video. Uh, uh, once again, shout out to Archie. Um, but my two figures, yeah, I'm very ha happy to have them in my Lego collection. And my ship and my pilot. I know that... Definitely the pilot can be improved as well as the ship. So hopefully I can have an update on if I improve them. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.